We've got a wood stove in our van. Pretty cool, right? But fire creates smoke. And like a house, you want some distance between that smoke leaving and your roof. Actually, a minimum distance of 12 inch. But unlike a normal house, our house also needs to drive. See the problem? That's why we've created a sliding flue pipe so that we can extract it when in use and slide it in when we drive. Now let me show you how. The credits for this idea goes out to amumau.de, which is a blog from a German man, Andre, who has brilliant ideas and designs for his expedition vehicle. Go see his blog post for the original idea. But make sure you come back to see this video. The stove we use is the Cubic Mini Grizzly. We hung it to the wall structure, which is behind the Occumate cladding. We ordered the regular three inch double wall flue pipe, the insulated pipe, the wall mount and the flue shield. But this is where it gets interesting. Since we're traveling, we don't have a lot of resources, so let's see if we can recreate this design using paper. There is a second, smaller flue pipe with a gap of 5mm to the outer flue pipe. It's actually a 2.5 inch stainless steel exhaust pipe because we couldn't find such a small flue pipe. On top of this inner flue pipe, there are cutouts for the smoke. And for the hood, we welded an upside down cooking pot, which we had laying around. The upside down cooking pot protects the stove from rain and when the pipe is retracted, it rests on the surface of the roof. No wind can then enter our living space when we drive and more importantly, no ashes are flying around. This inner pipe has a nut welded into it with a handle that has a ring. This allows us to clamp the inner pipe to the outer pipe when we tracked it. I wouldn't say this is necessarily, but it's a nice idea that the flue pipe doesn't slide around every time we hit a bump. We cut a hole in the outer pipe with a hook on top so that we can operate the handle and lock it in position when the stove is in use. On top and on the bottom of the inner pipe, we welded two rings, one centimeter apart from each other. In between this gap runs a furnace cord, which we glued on there. A furnace cord is available in many sizes. Ours is 4mm, so it fits nicely in between the 5mm gap. The cord is used to guide and seal the pipe. It's not necessarily against smoke making its way through the gap, because the smoke is being pulled out anyway through the inner pipe by draft. The placement of the two rings is important because when we tracked it, the ring on top shouldn't surpass the gap. When sliding out, the bottom ring shouldn't surpass the gap, nor should the upper ring surpass the surface. When everything is assembled correctly, it works like a charm. If this video was helpful, and I hope it was, give us a like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.